Hi guys, this is Rosita Applebaum and I am still a little bit sick so don't mind my voice and I have my hair a little bit different today but I'm here with a top 8 perfumes. Well, one of them is a body splash but I kind of broke it into my daytime smells as well as my nighttime smells one winter smell and then a body splash. I'm also going to be including the notes that um, Sephora lists under the perfume so that I mean I'm not really good at explaining perfumes I'm kinda just showing you like my favorite ones I'll try to explain how it smells but to me they all just smell really good but let's just get started um, so I'm gonna get started with my first three which are my daytime smells um, the first one is Hanai Marie Butterfly and it's like this really yellow liquid it's an eau de parfum that's the one I got they also sell it in eau de toilette the difference is that the parfum is a lot more concentrated like it's more of an oily smell it's usually more expensive um, and it lasts longer on your skin because it's like an oily kind of perfume I don't know it's kind of hard to explain the toilet is more like watered down that's my take on it and so this is the bottle it's really really cute the notes are strawberries bilberries, black currant, Bulgarian rose, jasmine, um, sandalwood, almond, praline. The style, they describe it as spontaneous, modern, and festive. I smell like a lot of like the sandalwood, a little bit of strawberry, but it's a really strong smell. Like if you put this one spray, even though I say it's for daytime, I say that it's strong because it actually lasts all day on you. If I spray this one spritz on here on my chest, like it'll last all day. Um, this one is an all-time favorite. It's very it's kind of musky, but it's still daytime appropriate I wouldn't really wear it for nighttime next one is Givenchy hot couture This one I have the toilet because they don't have the perfume in Sephora this perfume the notes are raspberry Jasmine and white musk perfume is really under raved. I mean, I kind of like it that way I um, smelled it on my brother's girlfriend. This is like her signature smell and it is very very fruity like you can smell the raspberry a lot and I actually like I like musky smells but this one is like sexy like it just hands down is just sexy like one of the sexiest smells I, I own and she's like notorious for smelling like this and I always would be like oh my god that girl smells so good my brother's girlfriend and um, she told me it was this and the girl at Sephora when I picked it up was like girl if you know about that then you know about it like not a lot of people know about this so I really like this this is very raspberry-ish so it's very fruity but I still really like it the next one is also really fruity and I'm completely out of it this is Michael Kors very Hollywood this one is really 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 sweet like the other one is fruity but musky this one has mandarin gardenia I would definitely say this is like luxurious this is like going shopping and you want to smell cute and fresh it's very like floral but fruity at the same time this one is more like sexy so I still really like this one I like mixing this one with other scents because it is really fruity it mixes well I think um, and the bottle is really cute my next three are my like signature nighttime smells I'm obsessed with these I wear these in the day too but I say nighttime because they're pretty much nighttime smells like they're supposed to be I guess because they're really strong this next one is Paco Rabanne Lady Million and it's the cutest little bottle I'm almost out I'm almost out of everything I honestly need to go buy perfume it's so expensive to buy perfume it's like $90 each and girl it's a lot like I don't like to have one perfume at a time I like to have lots so that I can switch it up so that I don't waste it I don't know it's kind of weird but anyway this is Paco Rabanne Lady Million and this one is, says that it has bitter orange, raspberry, jasmine, gardenia, patchouli, honey, and amber. This one actually it has a very musky like first note and then after like it smells like patchouli but then after it smells like floral like extreme floral like almost flower bomb like really really floral but I really really love this one. So that's Lady Million by Paco Rabanne. You can find all of these at Macy's or Sephora which is where I get it or like a perfume shop I don't trust those perfume shops I feel like they water it down okay my next two are both Gucci the first one that I discovered was Gucci Guilty and this was years ago this was like my all-time favorite I, it still is my I would say my all-time favorite everyone knows me by this smell um, I still have a lot of this one this is the original Gucci Guilty notice how it has like a light color they came out with one that's dark on the inside like the liquid is dark and that one I think is more floral this is just pure sexy 
Like, I really don't even want to tell you guys what the notes are because, like, it's sexy. Like, sexy, sexy, sexy. But it has mandarin, pink pepper, peach, lilac, amber, and patchouli. And they describe this as daring, rich, sexy. Like, yep, this one is, like, my all-time favorite. I think everybody should own this. Every girl. I don't care if you like floral scents. You need a sexy perfume. Girl, this I wear this all day. Morning, daytime, date night, every day. <laughs> like, I love this. It's so good. Like... This is my holy girl perfume, but, so that's Gucci Guilty, SMLX0 put up a video about this next perfume, and she was like, oh my god, I'm obsessed, like, I want to eat it, it's so good, and I'm like, I don't know about another Gucci perfume that's better than my Guilty, but she, um, raved about the Gucci Premiere, and it's the cutest little box, it's a little, like, oh, like a present, and it has, like, a little, sh I love little things like this, like, little dangling stuff, I don't know, I'm, I'm corny. But this one smells really good, too. It's a little bit sweeter. The top note and this one is orange blossom and bergamot. Heart note, leather, fur. Base note is musk. I think this one is really good for, I think it's work appropriate. It's sweet, but it's still sexy. This one is, a, is really sweet, um, I think because of the um, orange blossom, but it still has that musk. So, And it, this one lasts really long as well. It's really sexy. But it's still daytime appropriate. I would say if you're really going to be like, okay, fine, this is more nighttime than this. I still wear all of these all the time. But this one is also my new time favorite. I'm basically out of it because I bought the little bottle like an idiot. And I need to go buy this one again because it does really smell good. SML like Zero was right when she said, like, you really want to eat this. Like, it's, you smell so sexy and you want this to be, like, your signature smell. So then the next one I have to say would be Burberry Body and I like excluded this one from the daytime and nighttime because I wear this one in the fall and the winter it's not a spring summer smell I don't think so like it's really musky it's really like patchouli strong like I don't know it just reminds me of like going to a cabin and like going ice skating the smells in this one are vanilla amber musk cashmere peach rose sandalwood so like it's really like luxurious but I would say winter fall for Burberry body it's still a really one of my favorites like in the winter I like OD on this one I only you only need like a little bit of spray that's what I love about all of these perfumes is that they're very concentrated I don't like buying perfumes and then spraying it and then it's gone like Dolce Gabbana light blue doesn't mix well with me so all these perfumes mix really well with my skin and my body I guess like my chemistry they just like we match like when I spray these perfumes I literally smell like that all day and people are always like oh my god I can tell you're at work without even seeing you because I can smell you I can smell you from far away like it's crazy but I like it because I like to smell good I don't people never say like ew you're too strong like get out of here no but they're always like wow you smell so good and people go hug me they're like oh my god I'm like yeah just invest in good perfume girls okay the last one is the body spray and it's the very sexy temptation and this is by Victoria's Secret and I really like this I if you if you watch my older videos you know I always say I don't wear body splash I don't wear like body mist body spray spritz I am not I like like high-end perfumes but this one really takes the cake like I I bought two of these no, this is my third one. This is my third one. That means it's really serious. Me and this get along. Like, I can't really explain how it smells. It smells girly. It smells like a pretty girl will walk by and you're like, oh, she smells good. But not trying too hard. Like, I just carry this and I spray it, like, everywhere in my bag, in the wall. Like, <laughs> I spray it on people. Like, if they stink. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> that was really mean. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I spray this like okay if the if the place smells bad I spray this emote because it's only $15 so I'll spray this in air as an air freshener I think I'm eating it right now but it's a fragrance mist and this is a temptation and it's this one I've tried the red one and this one I think smells a lot girlier I just really like it, it smells like flowers so yeah those were my top eight perfumes um, I will put them down below but I guess I should go over it one last time so Hanae Marie Butterfly, Hanshi Hot Couture, Very Hollywood by Michael Kors, Paco Rabanne Lady Million, Gucci Guilty, Gucci Premier, Burberry Body, and Victoria's Secret Very Sexy Temptation Fragrance Mist.
My top is really old. I don't even, I just like picked it out from the bottom of my jar. It's from H&M. My hair is just a braid and a braid to the side. So I just have some eyeshadow, no liquid liner, no lashes. Um, I have a video coming up about my eyebrow situation. If you notice, they're a little bit darker. I don't know. I kind of like it. I'm kind of weird about it. Basically, I will see you guys in the next video. I just wanted to get something out there for you guys. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And sorry if I sounded really sick in this video, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Like, I'm still really sick and I have nothing on my nails. Ew. Plush is NARS Orgasm. I've been wearing that nonstop every day in my Instagram pictures, on my videos. NARS Orgasm with NYX Bourgeois Pig on top. And then my highlight today, I'm not wearing Luminizer, Mary Luminizer. I'm wearing MAC Soft and Gentle. I just want to switch it up because, I don't know, I just wanted to. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, which will be a haul, and I know fitness routine, fitness routine, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> it's really hard because I really eat bad, but yeah, um, I'm rambling. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. I can't really explain it. It's so hard. If you have it, you would agree with me, I think. I don't know. I'm like, you would agree with me, like, <laughs> like that. I'm so confident. Okay. Um, this one, I have it in the big bottle. I think it doesn't even say what size this is. It's the biggest. Um, under, I guess like under, um, this, um, it's, I don't know what it is, but, whoops, patchouli. It's very musky, very date. Mine smells a little weird right now. Actually, I don't know, it's weird. Actually, no, it does have like a lot of flour. Um, yeah, so hope I'm pronouncing her name right, Hanai, or, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Hanai Marie. Givenchy, or Givenchy, Hak Tour. I'm not, like, uh, people say Givenchy, 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 whatever. Givenchy. And you ain't even know it is playing in the background, because that's how we do in New York. No, I'm just playing. Um, oh my god, I'm all messed up in the game. Okay. I like how I do a perfume video when I'm sick and I can barely smell. Like, I can smell now, but it's still not, like, on point. Okay, so.